Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. And I know y'all know what we're looking at today, you know, after looking at the title. But first, before we get to it, man, make sure y'all drop y'all scent of the days down below. Welcome to the channel, man. I hope y'all enjoy yourselves. But yeah, today we're talking about Parfums de Marley Setley, man. And y'all know me. Y'all know I'm known for the presentation, having a box, the top, the lid, you know, all everything that comes with the box. But today we just got the bottle and the juice. But that's all we need, man. That's because this was a gift for me. One of my friends, man, he uh he knows I'm into fragrances, right? And I told him, I was like, man, I need a Parfums de Marley, yada, yada, yada. I don't have any Parfums de Marley. And it's summertime. You know, it's heaty. It's heat outside. It's hot. So... One of the best ones that he can give me that he didn't use as much, quote unquote, you know, shout out to him. It's Sedley, bro. So this is the bottle of Sedley. I think it's a 4.2 ounce. Hold on. Hold on. 4.2 ounce. Y'all see that? 4.2. Man, what in the heck? I'm still not good at zooming in. But yeah, this is a 4.2 ounce. Uh, the powerful ones did Marley. I'm really, really excited to get into this bottle because a lot of people are interested in this due to the fact that it is hot outside now. And y'all need that, you know, that everyday fresh air, you know, whenever y'all trying to stunt. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it, man. I did hear that they got reformulated after 2019. They said the performance got amped up a little bit. So we're going to see how that does today. So let's go ahead and get a spray. Let's see how this Addy is, by the way. Let's, gotta see. let's check out the Addy. Mm. Got all that juice everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the notes. So notes, we got lemon on the top with mint and bergamot. And I'm going to let y'all know, I'm getting a lot of lemon, mint, and bergamot. We are at the top, but still, man, it is, this, is, this, is what it's, this is what this fragrance is about. We got grapefruit as well, mandarin orange. We got the lavender on the middle notes, rosemary, and geranium. Then on the base notes, we got ambroxan, sandalwood, cashmere, velveteer, cedar, and patchouli. So yeah, we're getting a lot of that lemon and bergamot right now, which is what this what this fragrance is known for. And I'm gonna break this down in non-fragrance terms. Sorry, just sneeze. This smells like a fancy Sprite soda. I know that sounds so bad, but it's not bad at all. This is actually a very, very good smell. It's a fresh smell that has some personality and like some pepper. <coughs> Bless me, man, some pepper. What? And it, it kind of makes it stand out from like the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blues, the Versace Poor Homes, the uh, Jimmy Choo's and all that, which is nothing wrong with those, but they kind of like, are the typical blue freshies this is not a typical blue freshie this this does have a little bit of personality and that's what i like about sadly it does the same thing as those one those are freshies but it has a little personality a little pep in its step and it's really really good at what it does man so you got to give part phones de Marley a lot of credit for that i know a lot of people slam them for being mass appealing and you know designer s but with a niche bubble wrap or whatever they call it but they do a really really good good job of what they do and that's make great valuable fragrances man so and we gotta give them their due for that but let's go ahead and hop into the performance of the scent so the uh performance longevity man which is very very surprising for me so like i like i said this thing got reformulated in 2019 apparently and got a, a buff in the performance and i would have to say it's true because surprisingly i do did my five sprays i did behind each ear and i did back of the neck and i did behind each shoulder and i got maybe I'm thinking I got six to seven hours, y'all, and it possibly could have been more, but you know, I was just, I got so used to the fragrance that I was just like, oh, it's here. Okay. I'm going to stop paying attention to it. But yeah, I got six to seven hours at least, you know, and that's really great for a freshie, especially you pay this much for a freshie. You want it to last a little bit longer. So it does do that and it does it very, very well. See, I just pray uh, moderate. I would say I got a nice little, you know, scent trail behind me. Uh, projection, I would say for the first two hours is probably arm's length, or maybe, I mean, my arms are long, <laughs> but uh, arm's length, maybe maybe half arm, I mean, arm and a half, maybe. And third, fourth hour, fifth hour becomes like a moderate, you know, like a skin, maybe close to a skin scent, but not quite. And then that six, seven, probably closer to a skin scent, but that's great for a freshie, like I said. So really, really good performance in my opinion for a freshie, and they did that well. Compliment factor, um, I have not received a compliment with this fragrance, which is crazy. Not crazy, but that's not what I want to wear my fragrances for anyway. But I've only worn this like three to four times since I got it. Have not received a compliment yet, but that doesn't bother me. I just know a lot of people out here wear fragrances specifically for comments and compliments, but I haven't gotten any with this. But interestingly enough, and this is a kind of a foreshadow. I know y'all don't want to see this right now. Um, I got my hair legacy here, right? <laughs> and this is gonna be the first clone war on the channel. Little wink wink, let y'all know. But I've gotten confidence with this and not this. 
So it's not the it's not the DNA. It's not the DNA. The DNA's fine. So it's just you just gotta be around the right crowd, I guess. It's Cause I got I've gotten comments with this. So we're gonna pull this back out for the Clone War, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back for now. But yeah, it's you know, for me I haven't gotten any compliments and that's fine with me. But if that's what you're looking for, I mean at least in my opinion, this is this is not going this isn't my most complimented fragrance. But it's still very, very nice to me. And I think if I go around the right people, it will be a compliment beast. Uh price, I think on Fragrance Net, they have it for 160 something dollars for uh I think it's 2.5 ounces, I believe, for the uh, bottle, like 2.5 ounces. I think that's a steep price, especially when my here legacy is here. And this thing goes for like 36 bucks maybe. And it's just as good in my opinion. So going into price, I think that's an okay price. But if you if you balling like that, go ahead and do your thing. But personally, I would go ahead and go with the my here legacy. Um overview and rating of the fragrance. I would say I give this an eight eight maybe y'all yeah, give it an eight it's very very good at what it does it's versatile it could be a, a work scent your everyday signature scent a date night scent a, a, a lunch day scent everything you wanted to be is great at it it projects well performs well it's just the fact that my hair legacy exists that's the only thing if my hair legacy didn't exist we'll be having a different conversation but this thing is so good and comparable to Sedley that i can't justify paying a 160 dollars for a 2.5 bottle of this so um it's definitely different in quality, but you know, for the 99% people who are going to smell you, they're not going to know the difference, y'all. Like, they're not going to know the difference. But it is a very, very good cologne overall, and I do suggest y'all, you know, at least sample it and try it out and put it up against the the set uh, the My Hair Legacy if you want. See which one works for you. But uh, yeah, I like the fragrance a lot. I give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think of Sally down below. I appreciate y'all so so much. I love y'all so so much. Thank you for the support. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Love y'all, man.